Oh there, Tib's on the plot. Doing a quick um, tour, 2nd of September. Just pop down tonight, have a quick look around. Um, but had a bit of a tidy up this weekend. Uh, some flowers are finished. I'm gonna let them uh, dry out. Let's check the last apple. Looks like it's nearly ready to pick. Yep, hey, it came off. That's great. Last apple, all picked. That's me, uh, red, red pippin. The red pippin. So, four apples this year. Tally ho. Brilliant, happy days. Um, raspberries are done. Beans are done. Strawberries, we've got new strawberry pots in there. We've potted the runners on the strawberries. Um, we've got more pumpkins growing. Had a surprise this week to see a few more pumpkins. So there's a nice big one here. That's even grown the last few days. This one's grown. Another jack-o'-lantern. These jack-o'-lanterns here, they're going orange. So that's nice to see. We've got about seven down here and about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six at the other end. So, got some, uh, uh, I think these are mini uh, butter type squash. We'll have to check the type. Let's have a look. Uh, got the vegetable ones. They're doing okay. Got the vegetable spaghetti squash in there. They're doing okay. Still getting flowers on the Pumpkins and squash. Wouldn't expect that this time of year, but let's have a look. They're looking okay. Had a tidy up, weeded all the pumpkins, so now you can see all the all the uh, Turks Turbine pumpkins everywhere. So we can uh, collect them in October. Maybe maybe the middle of this month we might pick some. They look about ready to me looking at the photos on the internet. And then we've got some squash growing. A little jubbly. We've got some squash in there, butternut squash. Got a few of them I can see about. There's one down there as well. That one looks massive. There's butternut squash in there. There's five or six of them. We pulled all the potatoes up this weekend. So that's another job done. A lot of help from my sister. Uh, pulled all the dead foliage off the rhubarb. So that's the last of the rhubarb picked. Uh, still got plenty of carrots in there we can pick. Uh, cabbage. That's all sort of doubled in size the last couple of weeks. So we've got some uh, cabbage there and got some red cabbage there as well that's all growing well some butterflies got in there but we managed to get them out we're gonna put some um, uh, D powder down try and stop the, the insects getting on the cabbage leaves uh, more runner beans I think we've had enough runner beans now and um, we've had some more sweet corn I think there's about another five or six cobs on there that we can take so we've had a good run with the sweet corn so pretty pleased with that uh, so next year we'll grow a lot more I think and maybe not as many potatoes um, the perennial garden's looking good pretty pleased with that everything's growing nicely especially pleased with the lavender so that'll be good for the bees next year it's been good this year for the bees to be honest and uh, at the front, uh, we're finished with the lettuce. We've got a few um, mini gems there that are not so mini anymore. Get rid of them. And we've got five jack o' lanterns at the front that are ripening nicely. The sun's getting on them, they're turning orange, so that's good. So, not much more to do down here. Oh, there's a few carrots at the front as well. So these are about 
These are baby size at the moment, so we'll leave them in for a few months to grow. But that's a plot update. Mostly what's left to harvest is the last of the sweet corn and pumpkins and squash. So oh, down the end, in the last bed, there's a few uh, parsnips and some carrots left as well. So uh, that's a general plot update. This weekend was all harvesting and we've tidied up a bit as well. We had the whole family down here, so all looking good. That's uh, 2nd of September. Tib signing off. <laughs>